Like say shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem El Shah. Also give a double honor to the elders of GMS and honor to the Akim. And peace and blessings to you, brothers and sisters that listen, hopeful elect. I'd like to do a quick lesson today to the Prophet Yahweh Bashem El Shah on um, Esau's Edom's nakedness, man. And um, shameful spewing is becoming his glory, man. Esau is getting exposed. His secrets is out. And his kingdom is divided against itself, man. And what did Yahweh Shai say? Let me get that Mark the third chapter real quick. Mark chapter 3, verse 24. It says, And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, the house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. And this is his end. All right. Because like we said, all his secrets is out and they all come up against each other, man. Republicans is, is going at Democrats. The Democrats is going hard at the Republic Republicans with this sexual allegations. Republicans are striking back at Democrats. You guys are pedophiles. Things of that nature. They're all exposing and bringing each other's secrets out. You had this whole... Um, the Supreme Court guy. I guess um, Brett Kavanaugh. You know, the um, the white female feminist. They're mad as hell. That he um, supposedly beat the case. And um, he has a seat in the Supreme Court. The highest court of the land. And I was reading an article from the Huffington Post, which is written by a white female, she said, powerful, privileged white men will not win forever. <laughs> this is this is a sign of your downfall, man. Your own woman is coming up against you, man. All right. Um, there's a point in the article where she said, um, let me see what she said here. One second. Satan coming up against Satan, man. <laughs> Let me read what she says. She said, the past few days, years, really, may symbolize a battle lost for people who are hoping to dismantle white supremacy and move toward a reality where the rights of women and non-binary folks, people of color, and people at the intersections matter. You going down too, man. All right, America's going down. Point blank, period. All right? What you're talking about is never going to happen, man. Right, that utopia that you devils keep talking about, that's never going to happen, all right? Because this place was established on blood. It seems that the more angry and petulant that powerful white men become, the more they want. The more they get, the more they want. So it says their eyes stand out with fatness. They more they want more than the heart could wish. It says, um, but at the end of the day, all the tantrums we're seeing should be viewed as evidence that powerful white men can feel their power slipping away. And are going to extremes to hold on to it. Who envision a more just America have the powers that be shook and may soon have them on the run if we can channel our anger and grief into action. This is a white woman writing this article, man. A white woman is talking this, man. And that is the truth, man. Esau's power is slipping away. Okay? He's losing it, man. And they see it and they feel it. Okay, and the reason why it's slipping away is because of the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, man. Okay, this word has set the trend, man. And on what all your secrets is being brought out, and the scripture says what your kingdom is divided against itself, man. All right, and there was this other article. Um, um, let me see. You had the Disney Channel thing, man. That came up with October 10th. It said two work at Disney. One was HIV positive. All wanted to have sex with kids. Oh, boy. At Disney, man. Pedophilia, man. That's another thing that's being brought out in the so-called white man. That you're all a bunch of pedophiles, man. Just like I did in the last video on the Roman Catholic institution. Like I said, everything this devil is doing is now being brought to the forefront. Like the most I said... The book of Isaiah, the 47th chapter, that your nakedness was going to be what? Uncovered, man. Okay. And of course, this article right here, <laughs> before I read the scriptures. 
I think most of you brothers and sisters heard it already. Uh, let me see. It says, um, oh my God, it says, wait for this to load up. Shameful spewing, man. White woman apologizes for calling the police on a black child. She falsely said it grouped her. Some crazy um, woman in Flatbush, Brooklyn, man. Accused some nine-year-old boy of grouping her, touching her butt. And that's another thing that's bringing down Esau, man, is this stupid Me Too movement. Okay? Which is pretty much a, a, a continuation of the feminist movement, man. Okay, but that's what happens when you give these women power, man. You gave them Esau. You gave them the power to be sluts and whores, man. You gave them that power, man. Okay? And now everybody wants to be a part of that movement, man. You had some re retarded white woman accuse some black child, call the police. All right, that Israelite child. And now guess what? They showed the footage that <laughs> he wasn't even paying attention to her, man. I guess it was his bag that grazed her. And she looked what? She's embarrassed, man. And she had to give an apology. You see, now 50, 60 years ago, that child would have got hung, man. Just like Emmett Till. That's the same thing that happened to Emmett Till. You see, but this is not 50, 60 years ago, man. This is now. See, we couldn't do what we're doing 50, 60 years ago, man. You see? But that shows you that we are at the end, man. Us being out there on them highways and hedges was a sign of Esau's end, man. Okay? And now what? Your own empire, man. Everybody's adverse one to another. All right? Your own peoples. Edomites is coming up against Edomites, man. It's not only going to be race wars. It's going to be class wars as well. All right? And your own parties is adverse to each other. Even Republicans are saying that it was a mistake putting um, Trump up there, man. You see? And I'm going to get the precept. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 16. Habakkuk chapter 2. Verse. Do me one start up. It says, who is this talking about? It's talking about Esau. When you read verse 4, it said, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. He also, because he transgressed by wine, his philosophy. You see, his democracy, man. That's how he transgressed by wine. Okay? He's the father of all these, these wicked movements, man. He is a proud man, neither keep it at home. He's always going to these other countries, all right? He has enough problems in his own countries, but he's always minding other people's business. Who enlarged his desire as hell and is as deaf and cannot be satisfied, like that Edomite woman said in that article, man. They cannot be satisfied, man, okay? Everything he sees, he wants, man, all right? But gather unto him all nations and heap it unto him all people, which that's the scripture talks about Babylon, America. Okay, that great city that ruleth over the earth. Revelation the 17th chapter, man. Okay, they can tell North Korea you can't have nuclear weapons, man. They can tell Iran that. Okay? Because the scriptures say he gathered unto him all nations, and all nations is in America, aka Babylon. Okay? There's that great melting pot. But the scripture also says. 17, 16, thou art filled with shame for glory, okay, disgrace or this, that dishonor, man, that regret. Drink thou also and let thy foreskin be uncovered. Like the scripture says, Isaiah 47 chapter, 47 chapter, make bare the leg, which means all your secrets is out, man. All the things that you held on to that you, that you had well hidden is now being what? Brought to light. Because that's what Jehovah Shai said would happen, man, in these last days, man. Everything's going to be brought out, man. And the truth is being brought out. And your nationality, your true identity, your biblical identity is being brought out as well. You're the Edomites. So let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of Yahweh Shemel Shah's right hand shall be turned unto thee. 
The cup of Yahweh Shemel Shah's death and destruction, Psalm 70, Psalm 75, verse 8. And who's the Most High's right hand? Yahweh Shah. Okay? And shameful spewing shall be thy glory, man. So the scripture says what? Um, Habakkuk um, 2.16 tells you that what? Shameful spewing, man. But spew is like what? Vomit. Okay? That's becoming your glory, man. You see? And as, like we said, as this kingdom go down, as it's continue to keep going down, more and more of these things going to start coming out on you, man. All right? This is not, it's, it's not going to stop here. It's going to get worse, man. You Edomites are looking real bad right now, man. Okay? There's a power shift going on. That's what the scripture says. Let me see. Is it is Ecclesiastes 10 and 3? Just doing a quick impromptu. Whatever less videos. Scriptures come to my mind. You think it's Ecclesiastes? I think it's Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 3. As an unwise king destroyed his people, man. <laughs> and Trump is an unwise king, man. Okay? And he's going to bring this country down fast. He's already bringing this country down. Okay? I don't know how many members from his own cabinet. I think over 20-something he has kicked out. So if you can't even manage your own cabinet, how are you going to manage an entire country, man? You're an unwise king, man. You have zero moral judgment. You're a reprobate. But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be habited. So an unwise king destroyed his people, man. And Esau is an unwise king. Okay? That's why your dirt is being brought out. Because all the policies you set is against the natural order of things, man. And it's against your Ha'abah Shemel Shah. Let me see if I get another precept to the poverty Ha'abah Shemel Shah, man. So I do this quick lesson, man. Esau, your nakedness is, is out, man. And it's, it's our job as men of the Most High to keep prophesying against you. Okay? You have these other guys out there talking about, you know, we don't insult people and this, that, and the third. The scripture says to shake the hand. Okay? That they, people may go to the gate to the nobles and that they might complain about you. That's what the prophets are set up to do. All right? That's what the scripture says, Nahum chapter 3. What is this going into? The bloody city, which is America, Babylon. Let me start from verse 1. Nahum 1, 3 and 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is full of all lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. Which Nahum um, was um, prophesying against Assyria. Okay? Which America is modern day Assyria, man. All right, he was prophesying against Nineveh, which Nineveh is um in Assyria. All right, and this place is modern day Assyria, man. Okay, and it is a bloody city, and it is full of lies and robbery. Okay, that's what Yahweh Shai said the thief coming not but to steal, kill, and to destroy. Which you guys did that 2,000 years ago as the Romans, and you came back again today. That's why you celebrate Columbus, man. All right, that's why it says verse 6. And I will cast abominable filth upon thee, that shameful spewing, and make thee vile, okay? Wicked, man. All right? It says, and will set thee as a gazing stock. So right now, he's being set as a gazing stock. See, we were set as a gazing stock once upon a time, man, because of the curses. You see, but the curses now are being transferred over to you Edomites, man. That's the cup of the Lord, man. You see what I'm saying? And the most I said he's gonna make you vile because you're all vile. You're evil, man. You're immoral, man. You're unrighteous, man. Okay? And it shall come to pass that all that look upon thee shall flee from thee and say, Nineveh is laid waste. Who will bemoan her? When shall I seek comforters for thee? America is gonna be laid waste in the third world's war. Are thou better than populous? No, thou was situate among the rivers. That had the waters round about it, whose rampart was the sea, and her wall was from the from the sea. It says, Ethiopian Egypt were her strength, and it was infinite. Pit and Luban were thy helpers. So that's all the nations that um, 
Nineveh or Assyria had on the underneath um, its thumb or its control at that time. And like we said before, America, all nations come here to do business, man. Because that's how you build your economy, man. Okay? Everybody come here to do business, man. But when all hell start breaking loose, they're going to go back to their countries. It tells you that in Isaiah the 13 chapter. You see? And when America is destroyed, it tells you that the merchants of the earth is going to bemoan her. You see? Because the most high is what? He's making you vile. He's making you a gazing stock. You also got this situation with Trump and the Saudi Arabian, uh, the American diplomat that got killed in Saudi Arabia. You see? So this also going to brew into something, man. We got to keep our eyes on that as well, man. World War Three is here, man. Let me get it. Um, two more precepts. To close this out to the spirit, man. So like I said, man, it's some beautiful times we're living in. The Most High is bringing down all our enemies and adversaries. And that's how we know we're at the latter end. The scripture says, Lamentation 421. Rejoice and be glad, or daughter of Edom, that dwell in the land of Oz. All right, wherever you Edomites dwell at, man, mainly in America, man. All right, the cup also shall be passed through unto thee. So the cup is being passed unto you. We had to drink the cup, Jeremiah 49 and 12, which was slavery, captivity, being brought at the bottom, like I just read earlier, being a gazing stock, a proverb, a byword. But now that cup is being passed to you now. All right, you have a lot of homeless Edomites everywhere now. That was that was non-existent growing up man you have one or two but now <laughs> that's becoming a regular occurrence now all right all these edomites on um opioids drugs man young people man homeless man asking you for money man see that's that cup being passed unto you what used to affect us is now affecting you in so much that your own woman is coming up against you and like i read in that article they can see that the white man's power is being what is slipping away from him. OK, that's that cup being passed unto you. Thou shalt be drunken and thou shalt make thyself naked. So y'all exposing each other. A lot of these whistleblowers and people that bring out these different conspiracies, they're Edomites, man. A lot of them were once upon a time a part of those secret societies or insiders. OK, you're making yourself naked, man. All right. And that's all the glory to Yahweh by Shemiel Shah. See if I can get one more precept, close this out. All right. Let me get Job chapter 20. Get Job 20, 26. Let me see if this is a 101. Job 2026, 20, all darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. Who's this talking about? This is going in on Esau, man. That's the scripture says when he's about to get filled with the belly, the most high is going to hit him with the iron bow. Okay, starting with the elites on down, your Jewish bankers. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity, so the most high is revealing your sins. Okay. He's making it known, okay? He's being brought out to the open. Shameful spewing, your nakedness, man. And the earth shall rise up against him. So the earth is going to come up against you, man. Okay? And all these nations going to come up against you, man. The increase of his house shall depart, and his good shall flow away in the day of his wrath. So everything that you devils hold close to, you're going to lose it, man. The joy of your eyes, you're going to lose it, man. The pride of life, you're going to lose it, man. Your society, your country, this kingdom, everything you're going to lose, man. And you're losing it right now, all right? This is the portion of a wicked man from the Most High, and the heritage appointed unto him by the Heavenly Father. So now the Most High raised y'all up, and what? He's now bringing you down. Kala Yahaba Shimei al man. So we just got to keep pushing this word, man. And let's see if the rest of this movie play out, man. And Lord willing, we could be safe. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom.